she ride my boss slow up. Yeah. Try hand the seat till she throw up. Yeah. She about to go up. Hey, she really tore up. Damn. Yeah, I got my door up. Yeah. Say I took your style. Niggas grow up. Oh well. She ride my boss slow up. Yeah. Try hand the seat till she throw up. Yeah. She about to go up. Hey, she really tore up. Damn. Yeah. What is good, Boss Nation? Welcome back to an NBA Live video. I haven't done a video like this in a while, but I've been playing the mode a lot. So it didn't make sense for me to not bring you guys any videos on it whatsoever. Now, as you guys see, I am fully maxed out at a 98 overall right now. That's the highest you can get. Everything, all my stats are like to the fullest. And I've been killing it online. Now, to show you guys how much I've been dominating online, my boy Kuda took one game and put a montage together of everything that I did in the game. Check it out. Now another cool thing about NBA Live is the fact that they took my last name and they put it under commentary name and this has never, I mean never happened in a video game. You guys know I'm foreign, like my last name is usually never in games. And the fact that it is in NBA Live, they actually say it, like the commentators say my last name. Check this out. To Garabet, shoots it for two. Good finish inside. Now that we got all that taken care of, let's go ahead and take a look at all of my outfits. Now, you get three home ones and three road ones. Obviously, these are used to play games online, whether it's 5v5 or 3 on 3. All of them are looking good except the one with the yellow pants. And that is why today, guys, we're going to go ahead and open up crates to start things off. As you guys see, I have 383,000 NBA Live points all from playing games online so i'm gonna hit up the store and open up a bunch of crates the first one is the jordan brand now you guys know how crates work there's 10 items inside each one and when you open up one crate you get one out of the 10 and it's random so you don't know which one you're getting but there's never duplicates and that is something that i like so i went ahead open up the first one the jordan crate and we get ourselves a Jordan sock to start things off. You know what? I'll take it because right now I have the crusty default socks. So I need a brand sock like the Jordan one here. Next up. Can we get some shoes or some shorts? We get some white shorts. Again, I do need that. There's two sneakers in this. I haven't got one of them. There you go. The infrareds. Now I do have this in real life, but check out how crispy clean it looks in the game. I'm done with the Jordan crates. Next up, let's go ahead and tackle the Street Legend crates. Now inside this, again, 10 items. I see the fours. I see the sixes, a different colorway. So I'm all about this. If I have to open up all 10 of these just to get the fours, I'm going to do it. But here we are, jumping into the first crate. And wait, I didn't even know you could get bonus items. So we get the right arm sleeve and it also gave us a leg sleeve. And it has like the fire pattern on it. There's no way I'm going out there on the court with that. But that's cool that you could get bonus stuff. We're off to a good start. That was only crate number one. Let's jump into another one. Give me the sixes. Or the fours. Here we are. We do get the sixes. I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. If you are, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Dude, this crate opening has been crispy clean. Look at these. Now, I went ahead and spent the entire 383, whatever the number was, all my NBA Live points opening up crates. And here are my brand new outfits. Those are the three home ones. Check out the three road ones. I mean, this is by far my favorite right here. With the Toro Bravo 4s, that's probably my favorite outfit. Let me know what you think. Like I said... 
if you want to see more of these NBA Live videos, make sure you comment below and let me know. Let's go ahead and jump into our first game online. I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. This one here is with my boy Zing the King. Let's see how we do. Now, my boy Zing the King, we actually recently started playing together. And he has a wing defender. And this is right here, like, probably the quickest match that we have ever finished. So just check out how it happens. It starts things off with him getting a bunch of steals. And he's always looking out for your boy because he knows how deadly my jump shot gets. You don't want me to catch on fire in NBA Live. Trust me. Now, once again, another steal here. He's a 98 overall big man just doing it all. Once again, he knows where I'm going to be right there in the corner pulling up for yet another three-point shot. And I'm going to go ahead and fast forward because nothing was happening right here. Both teams were pulling up some bricks. We're trying to make some houses here. You guys see once again pulling up for yet another three. Nine to no start. And my opponents right now, they're a bit shaking up. So let's see how they're going to do here. I'm telling you, this was the quickest game that I have ever gone through. I thought he was going to pull up for a three here. I don't know what he's doing. He tries to pass it to his teammate. I get the steal. Going for a perfect release. 12 nothing. I wonder how they're going to respond here. They go to their point guard, and he was like their best player on their team. Once again, another miss. My boy Zing passes it up to me. There's no way you're going to leave that much space in front of me. Look at my teammate grade two. Out of 100, I currently have 95. And they turned it over again. Now, we did have a computer on our team. That guy right there. So, it's cool because you get to ask for the ball anytime as I knock down yet another three. So, right now, my goal is to make sure they don't score any points. We're trying to 21-0 them. I don't know what this guy's doing here. He pulls up on a mid-range shot. He does get it to go down their first field goal of the day. All right, let's close this one out. My boy Zane here already knew I was going to take the shot here. I'm trying to score all 21 points on my team. Let's go. 21 to 2. What a good way to start off the episode just like that. We get a teammate grade of 100. In game number two, I'm going to be playing with my boy Dre Drizzle. And just to go over what happened in the last gameplay, basically, I normally don't do that. I do want to get everyone on my team involved. But since it was like a rare occasion where I wasn't missing and we were about to skunk our opponents, that's why I was taking every single shot. And my teammates already knew what I was doing. But this time out, you guys will get to see like how I get everyone involved. Now, right here, Dre does the impossible. Like, I don't think I've ever seen anyone do that. On the other way, they do pull up for a three here. Just like that, they're up five to nothing. So, we're off to a rusty start. But whenever I got Dre on my team, like, I know we're going to be good because we're always on a phone call. So, at all times on the court, we know exactly what we're doing. And something that me and Dre like to do a lot is alley-oops. So, right here, he does pass me the ball. In the corner, I'm automatic. So, I get a green release. But moving forward, you guys will see all the alley-oops that I'm talking about. Like, we have perfect timings when it comes to them. Our opponent right here, I think it was 97 overall. So, I can't be leaving them that wide open. But check this out. Are you kidding me? I mean, the way Dre's player tracked that ball down was simply unbelievable. Right here, his defender does fall for it. So, he drives to the basket, passes it right back out to me as I was left wide open. We do take the lead for the first time. And now we just got to lock in and play defense right here. I do go with the steal and the dunk on the other way. The score is 14 to 13. They are the home team. And right here with that dunk, they retake the lead that they once had. Right here, I'm looking for Dre once again. I told him cut to the basket. And all I need to do is throw up the alley-oop. His player gets it every single time. I got eight points, three rebounds. We need to stop here. Once again, I'm going for the steal. I was able to keep the ball in bounds. Throw up the alley you. 18 of 15. I was like, you know what? We're one stop away. Right here on the inbound, they took way too much time, and that's a turnover. So I get the ball right here, and I'm like, all right, you know what? We got to clear it out. I mean, I'm the only three-point shooter on the team, 
So, 1-3 right here ends the game, obviously. So, you know I want it. A good look right here. The green release. It's done. But then I noticed that I took a two. I guess my foot was on a line. So, we got to keep on playing. And they're still in this. They can't give up just yet. Look at this. How did they make those? There's no way that should have gone in. I mean, it was well defended. But once again, we have the opportunity here to close things out. Dre setting me a screen. A step back. My player's hot. How did that go in and out? There's no way we're going to give this game away. He attempts a three. Or was that? Okay, it was a two. Okay, we got to settle down. We still have an opportunity to win the game. Boss Nation, man, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you slap that thumbs up button for your boy. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and let me know if you guys want to see more NBA Live 18 online. It's your boy, Uncle the Boss. I am signing out.